Hey, you guys, checking in on that Luke reading challenge. Again, if you missed it this last weekend for our Palm Sunday service, I challenged you guys to read 10 minutes of the book of Luke every day. So I started in Luke chapter one, verse one, and I read from Luke this morning, and I actually found myself laughing a little bit, okay? And here's why. Did you guys know that Mary and Joseph actually at one point lost track of Jesus. See, there's this moment where Jesus is a boy in the temple and he kind of wanders off. So we're not going to blame it all on Mary and Joseph, okay? But he wanders off and Mary and Joseph go home and then they start to look for Jesus. They realize they can't find him and they're like, oh my gosh, where did he go, right? So they head back to the temple and they're like, we've been looking for you in great distress. Where have you been? right? And Jesus responds. He says, why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? Now I'm giggling a little bit because I just love that God has entrusted humans with his big plan and we're going to lose track of it every once in a while. And he knows this. He trusts us with it still though, because he knows that he can still do great and powerful things through us. However, what this made me start to think about is Am I losing track of Jesus in this time? I feel like since we can't meet together at Ride or at Craft, that there's a part of my heart that's actually missing. But what I'm realizing is it's up to me to figure out where I can reside with Jesus, how I can continue to connect with God. So as you read through the book of Luke today, just try and listen more for that voice of God. See the ways that he's encouraging you. Realize the ways that he's making you laugh or the ways that he's meeting you. Because trust me, he's there and he wants to be there for you in this crazy time. So as I approach today, I'm going to remember ways that I can reside in my father's house, taking moments of peace with Jesus, remembering to pray for my friends and family members who are struggling just as much as I am in this season, and just finding time that I can just sit in the presence of God and remember this amazing story that he's trusted us to be a part of. Hey, love you guys. Good luck with your reading. Let me know what's sticking out to you. I'd love to hear from you guys.